Hi, welcome back to the I'm Ready Test Kitchen. My name is Lauren and today I'm gonna to be making something a little bit different than what we typically feature on our channel. Usually we are filled with lots of sweets and drinks, but today is a savory breakfast recipe. We are going to be making Bloody Mary egg bites using our Bloody Mary craft puree. Really easy recipe, it's just a matter of mixing everything together and chopping up all of the inclusions you wanna add in popping it into a cupcake tin and popping it into the oven. So with that being said, let's get going and make some egg bites. So the first ingredient here is eggs. I put them into a large Pyrex because this is going to make it so much easier when I'm filling my muffin tin with the egg mixture. So if you have one of these at home, I highly recommend using that, but you can use any kind of bowl that you have and just spoon it in. And I'm going to add in a quarter cup of milk and then I'm just going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper because our Bloody Mary craft puree already has some very peppery, spicy notes and a little bit of saltiness. I don't wanna overdo it. So we're just gonna do a little bit here. All right, that's our pepper and let's do a little salt. All right, perfect. And next I will be pumping in our Bloody Mary craft puree. I'm going to do four pumps if you don't want it so uh, powerful, so spicy, because this does have a little bit of a kick to it, just do three pumps. Perfect. Just make sure you get everything mixed up very well. Our Bloody Mary craft puree does contain real tomatoes, so you wanna be sure that you incorporate it very, very, very well. It is a little bit thicker. It's one of our thicker craft purees. And if you do decide to make this recipe at home, you order yourself some Bloody Mary craft puree. You make this once or twice. You don't know what else to do with the Bloody Mary craft puree. It's also, you know, it was specifically created for beverages. So throw it into your favorite beer to give it a kick. You can make a margarita with it. I actually added this to a margarita and made a Bloody Mary margarita. And let me tell you, delicious especially if you like a little bit of spice. So there's lots of different things you can use our Bloody Mary craft puree for. This is not the only thing. It is limited to your imagination. So after we're done mixing our eggs and our spices and our craft puree together, we are going to set that to the side, grab a muffin tin. I already have mine pre-greased, so make sure you grease this so it's gonna make your egg bites super easy to just pop out. And we are going to layer it with some greens, I have baby spinach here. You could also use um, arugula. Arugula would be really, really nice in this recipe. Give it a little bit more of a spicy note. Spinach is very, a little bit more mild. Making this also great for your kids. If your kids are like totally like my kid and don't wanna eat anything green, they'll definitely love this. You can barely see the spinach in it. So they'll probably have no idea it's even there. Next, I have some diced red peppers. You can use tomatoes. You can use any other color pepper that you like. You can omit it all together. Um, I just really like red peppers. I think it's a really nice touch to this recipe. So same thing, just right, layer it in. You could also even use onions. Maybe you wanna have a little bit more onion flavor in there. Chop up some onions or even garlic. I just thought of that and I'm totally gonna do it next time because I'm a total garlic fiend. I put it in everything. Next, bacon. Gotta have the bacon, it's breakfast. And if you don't eat bacon, you can just completely omit this. You can use turkey bacon, you can use um, some kind of plant-based bacon, whatever you prefer. This is a very customizable recipe, so you can just cater it to your Households, personal likes. Lastly, cheese. Any cheese that you prefer. I have sharp cheddar here. You can use smoked Gouda, you can use mozzarella, um, anything that you want. Just sprinkle your desired amount on. And this might, this would probably be really good with smoked Gouda. I'm gonna have to try that. Now, last step is just pouring our eggs in. You want to Pour it in, you don't wanna fill it up to the top because when these are in the oven, they will start to dome. So leave a little bit of room. Perfect. 
Perfect. Now I'm just going to pop these in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes and they'll be done. I baked our egg muffins for 20 minutes. You wanna make sure the top looks nice and golden and it doesn't look like it's wet. If the egg still looks a little bit wet, keep it in there for a few more minutes. If your egg bites are in there, they're kind of stuck, just use a knife and go around the edges and you'll be able to pop it right out. As easy as that. And that just came right out. Look at that. It is gonna be so good. They're nice, light, fluffy, great way to start your day. You can see all of your toppings in there and they just smell absolutely amazing. This is just a great um, meal to prep, you know, on Sunday, pop it in the refrigerator, pop them in the freezer, just enjoy them all week or stick them in your kids' lunch boxes, whatever you wanna do. With no further ado, let me take a bite of this. That is where it is at. So delicious, perfect touch of spice. It's not overwhelming. It's there, you can taste the Bloody Mary but it's not too intense or anything. It just really gives this a nice, well-rounded, different flavor than what you typically get in an egg bite. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you give it a try at home. And if you do, let us know in the comments below what you think about it. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another recipe or any of our tips and tricks. You can also find us on social media at I'm Ready on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Pinterest. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.